My name is Dr. Ravi Swami. I'm one of the uh, consultant neonatologist at uh, Manipal Hospital and the clinical lead for uh, neonatology. Currently, what we are doing is that for all uh, expectant parents, especially the mothers, uh, within first one or two weeks of expected date of delivery, we are uh, getting uh, the mothers uh, tested for uh, COVID-19. So we are absolutely sure that uh, uh, when these women are delivering, uh, we are making sure that they do not have uh, COVID-19 or any of the coronavirus positive at this point of time. If for some emergencies, uh, the lady is coming to the hospital and we are not having enough time to test for the uh, COVID-19. In such cases, we are using the full set of uh, precautions, uh, those who are involved in the delivery and we are separating the mother and the baby temporarily. We are isolating the baby in the neonatal intensive care where babies are looked after by the specialist nurses. In, during this time, we are sending the sample of the mother for a rapid testing and usually in our experience, we have done this for almost two or three mothers who have come unexpectedly to deliver and they have turned out to be negative. In such cases, usually within 24 hours, we are handing over the baby and the mother and then bringing them together in the ward. So this is our current uh, practice. If the mother is known to be negative, still the routine precautions are followed at the time of delivery. The doctor who is attending the delivery will be wearing a hat, will be having mask, will be wearing a, um, gloves and a sort of a gown to protect himself mm -hmm. or herself. And the usual normal resuscitation practices are followed. Development usually is sort of divided into three main aspects as we see in children. One is their cognitive development, which is their IQ type thing, their language development, and then their motor development. These are the three main areas which we focus on. So cognitive development usually happens when uh, children have uh, education in school, they see things in practical life, they experience things and uh, watch TV or something where they can see, uh, they gain knowledge. Whereas the speech uh, will have two components, receptive and expressive. So children have to hear things, hear talking to people and expressing is talking to these people. In the current uh, coronavirus, this is something which has become a problem at this point of time that uh, because of lockdown, the interaction with other children, with their teachers and stuff has come to a limited um, uh, aspect at this point of time. Similarly, the final thing is the motor development, which basically involves children running around, uh, um, uh, playing all sorts of games, team building and stuff, which is also uh, uh, has come to a standstill because of the current uh, situation. So the ways to improve these are that perhaps one of the simple ways is to get people to talk over on telephones for, so that the children can talk to their uh, friends and colleagues on the phone which will help them to keep in touch with their colleagues team building and similarly for all the children in the evening so maintaining social distance wearing masks but still go for a jog or go for cycling which will keep their um, physical activities uh, going on so this is the way simple ways to boost their uh, development during the pandemic situation This is a double-edged sword in the sense like at this point of time because all the education institutions are closed, all of them are adopting to uh, distance learning which means the children have to spend some time on the uh, computers and the tabs. Um, so usually we would uh, suggest parents that uh, two to three hours of screen time is uh, more than uh, sufficient but um, in the current situation things have to be relaxed. So what I would uh, suggest uh, parents is that um, uh, discuss with your schools, each schools will have their norms. So have uh, sessions on uh, Microsoft Teams or similar uh, um, uh, platforms where they can have one-to-one -one teaching type classes. And uh, so during say restrict these classes to 35 to 40 minutes and post that uh, most of the work should be done off screens where the children can use uh, the homework uh, done on papers and pencils and stuff like that.
So at this point of time, Manipal Hospital Whitefield has started the VCs. What we are suggesting parents is that as much as possible, try to use the VCs uh, at the first point of call. And of course, uh, during the discussions, we do come up, uh, we will figure it out whether the child has to be physically seen. Um, and in such cases, then we would suggest you to come for a physical consultation. However, this will also apply if the child requires uh, vaccination or the child requires a blood test, then definitely you will need to come uh, physically. So we have made several arrangements. We have kept a dedicated lift for women and child access at this point of time so that the healthy children do not mix with uh, uh, children who have uh, fever or any related illness. We have made our vaccination timing between 9 to 11 with a separate vaccination room. And any time after 11 o'clock, we have kept those children who have febrile illness so that we can separate uh, uh, these children. So uh, the safety always uh, starts with us. So whenever you are coming outside, please wear masks and always uh, sterilize your hands. Either probably wash your hands or use the uh, hand rub. And of course, always maintain the social distancing of one to two meters. These are the simple things. Uh, which can keep yourself safe, safe the, and also keep your little ones and the whole community safe.